Hello, this is Michael with Terry Hendricks out in Archibald. Just doing a quick top tip kind of video here for you guys. A lot of vehicles are starting to get into the push to start uh, options on their vehicles with the fobs. And I figured this might be a little bit of information that maybe somebody didn't know. This could certainly help you out in a little bit of a uh, crisis time here if your battery runs out on your fob. So uh, I am in uh, Grand Cherokee right now, uh, 2020 unit, and uh, I've got the fob here. Uh, kind of half deconstructed just to kind of give you a little bit of an inside tip here. So uh, most of the keys are going to have a button on the side of the fob or in this case on the Jeep one a slider mechanism that will allow you access to your key on the inside of the fob. Why? Specifically for the reason of if your battery or if the battery runs out on your fob you need a way to get into the vehicle. Um, this technically isn't necessarily a key so much as it's a receiver. This key specifically will only work for getting you into the driver's door on the tumbler there. It's only to let you inside the vehicle. At that point, how do you start the vehicle if you're not supposed to use a key and just the push button? So over here we've got the push button start and I've got the, uh, the fob, uh, like I said, deconstructed a little bit. Um, it comes apart in two pieces. Sometimes in some cases like on Cherokees, the newer models will come apart in three, but essentially it looks like this on the inside. This fob is just a receiver, is all it is, is a receiver to tell the vehicle what you want to do based off the buttons here, and that the fob is inside the vehicle so you can start it. That's the wireless transmitter right there. And then you have the battery, which is a little three volt watch battery size, that sits on the inside there. Now why do I have the battery out? Because I want to show you, you can actually start this vehicle without a battery in it at all, if you wanted to. I'm going to turn the car off. At this point, it's going to try and figure out if there's a fob on the inside, but without a battery in there, it won't be able to transmit. So if you press this here, it'll say key fob not detected. But I'm going to show you how to start it with either a dead battery in it or no battery. Again, this is the wireless transmitter. Just take the full fob, but you don't have to deconstruct it like this, but I'm just doing this for example. Take the, the fob and you put it right up to the start button and it'll turn the vehicle on. That way it gives you the opportunity to be able to head to a location which you can get a, a replacement battery. So again, my name is Michael. I'm out here with Terry Hendricks. Appreciate the opportunity to be able to show you something maybe uh, you, you, could, you needed to learn. So that way, if you're like me and you wait forever to get a replacement battery in your fob, Yes, I work at a dealership and I still forget to do that. <laughs> you wait forever to do that, you still have the ability to turn your vehicle on. Thanks a lot, guys. Have a great day.